All right, first thing, uh, I will, uh, as I told them at the end of the game, uh, Coach Stick has an unbelievable program. Yeah, those kids play hard. Uh, they stretched us. They maxed us out on everything we could do. They're yeah, explosive on offense. They play really well on defense. And we had to find a way. And, uh, you know, we, our kids just continued to, to handle the little hiccups here and there. Was it pretty? No. Nope. But, uh, you know, good teams find a way to win, even when maybe you're not playing at your best. And I think today was a, a case of that. And uh, I'll open it up for questions at this time. Matt, describe the decision on fourth and one. Was there any decision there on, on Hemant Hahn about going for it? Uh, well, they gave me four minutes to think about it. So there probably was a, a little bit of just to myself. But uh, uh, here's how it went down. I walked out to the offensive line, the Rams. He said, what do you think? And all five of them looked at me and said, let's do it. So when you, when the, when you know your kids are locked in like that, I felt good about it. They, they were going to make... They were going to decide the fate of the game, not, not the head coach. When you saw Cofield burst at that one went through your mind? The, um, thank God I'm up to date on my life insurance. <laughs> my heart was pumping. Were you, were you worried about trying to go on the edge and not doing a sneak because there's a big <clears> risk that you know, if someone slides off a block, you get dropped for a loss? Well, we, we were worried about that they were going to bring just zero pressure. You know, and it was all going to stem, come off the edge, and they were going to stick everyone. And so, a uh, great play call by uh, by our offensive staff and, and Tyler Roll, uh, and then uh, for uh, Adam just to have the, the ability to break a tackle and then uh, tout run a uh, uh, good defender out there uh, in, in uh, back house. How would you describe that atmosphere in the fourth quarter, back and forth, almost like a zoo out there? A little bit, uh, but that's what you know. Games against two highly ranked teams, uh, you get the rivals. Two teams that probably deep inside respect one another, but don't want to admit it. Uh, you know, that's what you that's what you'd hope for. And how big was it to cash in on two turnovers and limit them to zero points after you, you threw the pick? It was huge, uh, and we, we talked about it. You know, we talk about it every day. Uh, we need to win the battle uh, of the takeaways, and it's been a point of frustration. I shouldn't say frustration, but uh, we, we've had our hands on a lot of footballs, and today for us to come up with two big ones, one to put us right in scoring range, and another one to set up what was going to be ultimately the game-winning touchdown. Uh, you know, Dave Braun and his staff do an outstanding job. And, uh, you know, Coach Gazer and Coach Williams, you saw at the end just uh, our ability to rush the passer when we needed to uh, was was lights out and was, was super important to the end of the game. Was it a mindset to take some risk? You went for the two-point conversion. You had the, the running back pass that didn't work. You'd go for a fourth and one. Was that, or is that just, it just played out like that? I think it just played, a little bit played out like that. Um, you know, but at the same time, we needed to be aggressive. And we didn't want our kids to, to get comfortable and, and just think, here we go with the same old offense every snap. We needed to try to stretch the field. We needed to do some things to make them have to defend all four corners of the football field. And uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. We're going to make teams have to line up and defend us. And, uh, you know, it was everything, it worked out okay. You know, it was, it was what we wanted at the moment, uh, you know, because if we convert on those, uh, you know, we look like geniuses. How did things change for you guys defensively when Gibbs went out? I, I don't, I don't know if they did a whole bunch. Uh, the, the backup seemed to run the football pretty well himself, and so, uh, you know, I know injuries happen, and it makes you sick when good football players get banged up. But you know, it's one of those things when it's game eight, both teams are dealing with them, and and, and there's guys that we wish were with here on the trip with us too. So uh, I hope he recovers, and, and it was nothing serious. Were able to focus more on stopping the run when he was out because they didn't throw as much with him. No, they, they didn't. Well, and, and, and even later when they had the third string quarterback in, you know, you, you, you know, thought how many pictures has he seen during the course of the week? Uh, you know, I know from my experience and with us, our third string quarterback doesn't get a ton of snaps during the course of the week, and uh, so you know, we were probably able to play a little more single high defense at that time, but uh, he still had shown some things with the quarterback run. Uh, quarterback power on a third down that I think they converted early. Um, so, you know, they, they do a good job of, of forcing you to defend it all. Derek Tuska in that last uh, series there, back-to-back -back sacks, I mean, did he just did he just tell anyone that he was taking over, or well, what's I, going on? You know, young man from South Dakota, this is going to get any bigger for him, and I'm sure he had uh, a ton of family and friends here, and his last time to, to play in the uh, Dakota Marker game, so uh, it was fitting that, uh, it, you know, South Dakota native uh, finished the game for us, I think. Matt, to get to 8 0, I know you're only worried about this one, but this is a large team to, to beat. Can you assess where things are now with four games to go? I still think there are way too many penalties. And we, we, we sh too many hiccups during the course of the game. And we, we got to continue to fix those. 
uh, and they got to become a priority in practice, and that, that falls back on, on my shoulders, and, and I got to make sure that we deal with them, and uh, and it just makes our kids understand that we can't do that. We can't get, we, we, we can't be first and 15. We can't be first and 23. Uh, that's not how the Bison play. That's not how we're successful. Uh, but I'm really excited that our, our team is 8-0 right now, of course. And anytime you can get a win over a ranked opponent, regardless of how it looks, uh, I'm, I'm super excited. And I know uh, our kids are humble enough right now. They'll watch the film before they get a chance to watch it with their position coaches. And they'll come into meetings saying, I should have done this, I could have done that. And that's one of the, the unique things about our program when you have a bunch of self-starters and kids who uh, are, are willing to be accountable for how they play. And so we'll continue to, to get better. I, I, I told you, I don't think we, we've come near where we can be yet. Any injuries today? Uh, not that I know of. Not that I know of. And so uh, I know we had some guys, you know, maybe getting tech wrapped up here or there, but uh, everyone was finished the game that, st that started the game. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Fourth and short play, what did you see and how, how did that play kind of unfold? You know, I just. Uh, Trusted the whole line, and you know, I was just—I figured I'd just get the first down, but I saw the hole open, and you know, I just went. What was the uh, move in the huddle beside going for it on fourth and one at your own twenty-nine? What was what was the move there? You know, uh, the whole line—you know—they were they were geeked up to you know just go out there and get that first down, but uh, you know, once uh, that play started, you know, it, it was just hitting heads and you know getting the first down and going. Trey, when you saw Adam. First, what went through your mind? Yeah, it's wild. It was super exciting. Uh, yeah, we were all just thinking, get the first down, hold on to the ball. Uh, you know, uh, Adam made a great play. O line dominated. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun, a lot of energy out there. Was there some back and forth with the timeouts, and you tried to draw off sides? And at some point, do you think you were going for it, or do you think you were going for it the whole time? Uh, when I saw fourth and inches, I was thinking we'd go for it right away. Um, uh, but you know, Coach Entz, you know, obviously. That's why I'm not the coach. You know, I'm not a decision maker. Um, but you know, we went. We tried to. You know, did a hard count. Uh, tried to get him to jump. Called the timeout. Uh, and then I saw Coach Chance kind of thinking about it. Uh, you know, I think the whole offense was yelling at him. We're going for it. You know, we're, we weren't coming off the field in that situation. Uh, I think that's just the confidence that we have. You know, in ourselves uh, and in the whole line, just how well they do their job. Derek, what went through your mind when you saw Adam break it on the sideline? You know, it was fun being on that sideline uh, right there. Defense was all, all right up next to the sideline. They said defense ready. We weren't really too concerned. And as soon as he broke it, coaches were yelling at everybody to get back so we didn't get uh, get any sideline infraction. But uh, it, it was a lot of fun seeing seeing Adam outrun everybody right down the sideline there. Those pressures in the fourth quarter, what were you seeing from their line? You know, right there at the end, uh, we knew they had to pass. And that's exactly what we wanted up front. Um, back half, did a great job. Uh, with their looks and, and coverage, so he had to hold on to the ball for a split second. That's all we needed up front. Back to back plays at the end there for you uh, with the sacks. How nice is it as a as your last game here and everything to, to basically finish it? Yeah, you know, it, it, it felt really good to be honest. Uh, didn't play great in the beginning. Uh, we've been, we were back and forth all, all game. Um, right there at the end, we knew we knew we had to close it out, and, and that's what it took. And Spencer, Dimitri. Interception, then you guys have to go out there. What was the talk with the players, you know, after that play? Uh, we just knew that we had to go out there and um, try and get a stop. Spencer, you were excited to come here, then to have the, the marker in your hands at the end. What was that feeling like? It was awesome. I mean, <clears throat> it's not a feeling you really can't just put into words. It's just a real special moment. Derek, how big was it in the game to start to limit them to two field goals and kind of you know, keep your offense in it early on when they got in the red zone? Yeah, it was really big. We always talk about how uh, field goals won't get you beat. Um, and so defense, we played fairly well. There was obviously uh, some things we got to clean up on Monday and stuff. But uh, yeah, holding them to field goals, that's exactly what we want, keep them out of the end zone. Did you guys, did you guys watch game, game day at all today on TV? No, we, we all just blocked out the outside noise. We were just here to come uh, play football, and that's exactly what we did. Um, we, we, we let the fans all enjoy that. And when you broke loose, did you think you were going to get all the way to the end zone? What, what's kind of going through your mind on that last run? You know, I just, once I broke it, I just, you know, trusted my speed, and you know, I, just, I just kept going.
Trey, anything change at halftime? What was this? Because right away, you guys score from the start of the second half. Was there any change of, of any kind at halftime? Uh, I mean, we obviously wanted to play well, uh, you know, better to start the game. Uh, but, you know, I think we saw them maybe wearing down a little bit uh, on the D-line. Uh, and just our offense line, it was a little frustrated, you know, maybe not necessarily the play calling, but just they thought they were dominating up front. Uh, and, you know, I agreed that, you know, they really did. Uh, so it was, it was fun to see them get, you know, fired up coming out of the half. Uh, and just us just even trusting them. Uh, you know, they, they really carried us uh, today. Uh, it was just a lot of fun, a lot of energy coming out of uh, halftime. 8 0, this is a big one today with four games, you know, the last quarter of the seasons to go. Assess how big does this one mean more than the other seven? Uh, this one was definitely probably more exciting. Uh, you know, obviously <coughs> the finish and everything, the, uh, how exciting, you know, the atmosphere. Um, Obviously, the game day and everything, the fans probably were a little more excited, you know, maybe than we were. Uh, you know, we just took it as another week, honestly. There really was no, nothing different. Uh, maybe a couple guys had one more interview to do. Uh, but other than that, you know, it was a really normal week for us. Uh, you know, obviously, had some little things that we need to get to clean up, uh, penalties. Uh, but, you know, it feels really good, good to go one another this week. Trey, did you have a lot of support here being so close to your hometown? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of guys uh, from high school. Um, couple too many in blue that I saw during the student session, so we're going to have to talk about that. But uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of family here. It was fun to see. Scrap your emotions, get to touch that rock. <laughs> really exciting. Uh, last year, uh, you know, it wasn't the same feeling for me. You know, obviously, just I don't, I don't feel like I contributed the same. Uh, but just the opportunity that I had this year to, uh, you, you know, contribute a little bit more uh, to winning that rock, it was really exciting. You know, like Spencer said, not really the thing you can describe with words.